right, so here we go. She's ready to go. This is the um, the new Maytech FC F405 with the Betaflight OSD matched up with the um, PDB that comes uh, that you can match. Now both of these can be used separately, but it's great to have them in the pair because they connect together with this little ribbon cable which is awesome if I ever need to change ESCs or do maintenance or anything this board just lifts off and I can unhook the ribbon cable and get to everything really really easy um, and set up on this thing and putting it together was, was super easy and super convenient with the ribbon cable because it has the, the ESC signal um, right here on the PDB with your current sensor and everything so all I had to do was put the PDB on solder the ESCs on and ribbon cable this baby to the top and hook up my VTX and cam it was simple as can be um, and uh, when I hooked it up to beta flight all the ports and everything were already configured in this which was really cool the only thing um, you have to do is if you go to the go to the um, there's there's a whole web page on this flight controller if you go to the Maytech FC F405 um, a whole entire web page will come up with all the details on this thing and how to calibrate the current sensor how to hook it up with the ribbon cable how to hook these up traditionally or separately or anything I've never seen anything like it with so much information on how to set this up there was like no guesswork right it was just straightforward so anyway here it is on on my six inch with some uh, beastly f80 uh, 2200 kvs and uh, so now we'll head out to the field and give her a rip. See how she goes. Aye. All right, so here we go. Maiden voyage of this uh, new Maytech board. Got video. See how she feels. Well, the setup was pretty easy. Woo! <laughs> 
Okay, so there we go. That was the uh, maiden flight. And as you can see, I was doing split. That was on default PIDs. All I did was plug in my rates. And uh, the video's nice. And she flew, flew, man, locked in. Snappy. As you can see, I was doing split S's, you know, and dropping straight down 100 feet through my own prop wash and not a jitter. Like zero, zero prop wash, no matter what I did. Um, flies freaking fantastic. And this is no, um, you know, this is no light build. These are, these are F80s on a 6 inch and towing a GoPro. So, you know, it was under, you know, extreme duress. <laughs> uh, um, and it flew freaking great, man. This new Maytech board and the setup on it was so easy. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can get this. You can see in there, but look how clean that build is. No wires, just the little ribbon cable. This may be my new go-to board. I really liked the way it flew, and I really liked how easy and intuitive it was to set up. There was no guesswork. Just go to the little web page, and all the information was right there. And it freaking, as you can see, it flew fantastically. So, um, you know, other guys that have their claim to fame as zero prop wash out of the box, well, here you go. This is a Betaflight board, zero prop wash out of the box. And that's my thoughts on that. It's also compatible with 6S setup, but um, I really like the way this flew. I actually bought two of these when I bought them, so I'm going to put another one. Uh, I'm going to put one on a 5-inch uh, build and see how that goes, but I have, I, after... Um, running it on this big beastly six inch. I know it's gonna fly great. So I don't have any worries about that Right dog, right you agree. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree It's good dog. She's better.